Hi guys, it's Shamayel. I just wanted to come on here really quickly and share with you my non-messy turmeric hyperpigmentation stick. It's a really quick recipe. It's amazing. It's going to be amazing for um, any hyperpigmentation that you may have on your lips or under your eyes or anywhere really in your, on your body. Um, if you have hyperpigmentation that you'd like to get rid of without really um, getting your whole house to be a hot mess and staining anything, then this is the recipe for you. Uh, please stick around till the end of the recipe to hear my opinion and watch me apply it. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Hi guys, it's Shamayel. I just wanted to come on here really quickly and show you my turmeric stick that I just made um, and how I apply it. So it's really pretty simple. All it is um, is the stick that we made. Um, you guys, I think, all saw the, um, the do-it-yourself recipe. Um, and what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go ahead and apply it to your skin, um, skin or um, lips. Anywhere that you have hyperpigmentation, um, this is great for. Just a disclaimer, I just did a TCA peel two days ago, so my skin's really leathery and it's like, it's gonna probably peel tomorrow, as you can see, especially under my eyes. And I have been applying this to it, so you'll see some um, residual residue from when I applied this um, this morning. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you on top of it. I, I didn't wanna have to wash my face again. Again, as I mentioned, my skin is still recovering from my TCA peel. So I wanted to keep the face washing to a minimum. Um, but anyways, here's the stick. You're gonna apply it like you would normally apply chapstick. So here we go. And that is it. And now let's go ahead and um, reapply um, on my uh, the hyperpigmentation around my mouth. Do you see how much it's a little bit yellower now than it was earlier? Right here. I look a little bit funny, but yeah, that's all you need to do. And you can even apply it under your eyes. I did that earlier. Oh God, my skin looks so leathery. <laughs> and it, this um, has been keeping my skin moisturized though. Like I've noticed like where I've applied it, my skin felt like feels a little bit more moisturized. Um, obviously I didn't apply it here and it feels a lot drier. So yeah, I'm not going anywhere. So this will, um, eventually absorb into my skin and um, 
uh, my skin will just absorb it and it will be super moisturized. It's gonna help with the hyperpigmentation. I was also thinking about using it as like a, um, uh, what is it called? Um, those sticks that you use to, um, oh, a color corrector. So I'm hoping to try it out one day once my skin's all done peeling as a color corrector under makeup to see if it would help with like the redness. Um, so I'll keep you guys posted on that. Guys, I forgot one thing and one really important thing about the mat, um, about the stick that I made and why it's important. The reason why I chose to make that stick the way I did is for my nails actually, <laughs> because as much as I love turmeric products, they tend to stain my nails. And as you can see, probably in all my videos, I like to keep my um, nails um, bare and just clean and I want to keep them as white as possible. And as most of you guys know, turmeric is very staining. So that is why I wanted to put it in um, this kind of chapstick container where I didn't really have to touch it or mess with my was mess with it with my hands too much. Um, so that is the main reason why I wanted it that way. Um, I apply it to my face and let it be. My nails don't ever get to touch it um, and my skin eventually absorbs it and I don't actually have to wash it off. If you apply like a turmeric powder mask on, you have to wash it off and then your nails get stained, your sink gets stained. I don't like that. It's too messy for me. So what I just do is um, get, I make, put it into that uh, chapstick tube and just apply it and that is the end of it. I don't have to worry about washing it off or anything. My skin absorbs it and it has not stained my pillows yet. So anyways, just wanted to chime in and, and let you give you that little bit, that little tidbit. <laughs> Can I talk? All right. Thanks guys. Bye-bye.